Okay, so we're going to check for um, anterior and posterior rotations of the pelvis to determine um, whether there is an anterior or posterior rotation of the pelvis. We have to look at our bony landmarks. Um, and those bony landmarks are the posterior superior iliac spine, or a PSIS, and the anterior superior iliac spine, or our ASIS. So from a lateral perspective, if we, in our postural assessment, have identified that there may be an increased aldotic curve, or that our clients are experiencing some hip pain, um, then we can check the position of the pelvis by looking at those two um, bony landmarks from a lateral perspective. So to identify or to, to locate your PSIS, come to L5S1 junction and go down about one third on that sacrum and you're just coming out to the side and you'll find uh, your PSIS. If, you, if your clients um, visually have those dimples, just go straight to the dimples and just below those dimples you should be able to feel your PSIS. So I've got my PSIS here. I locate that with my fingers. And ASIS around the front. I want to do that with flat finger palpation, so around from the iliac crest around to that most prominent, uh, prominent part of the ASIS. And I kneel down to get down at eye level. And then move my hands so that my fingers that are touching those bony landmarks are making a, a level line with my fingers. So I've got that straight line as my reference point. The PSIS should naturally sit up about one centimetre to one and a half centimetres sort of higher than um, our ASIS on a female. On a male's um, there's a variance of about half, um, half a centimetre, so zero to a hundred, uh, zero to, to five cent, uh, half a centimetre, 0.5 centimetres. Um, so we can see on Hannah here this is quite a, a normal tilt. Anything excessive over that, you know, one to one and a half centimetres, we would consider anterior, and that's what I've um, demonstrated here. And anything under that, if, we, if it's sitting more at a flat line, uh, that would be considered a posterior tilt. So, Hannah, if you can just posteriorly tilt around for me, that's what our posterior tilt would look like, and anterior would look more like this. Okay, so back to the centre. Now you need to check both sides because sometimes um, we can have one of the anominates, so that ilium and ischium that rotates around on its own, or we can have both of them coming together. So always check both sides. And that's your ASIS, PSIS relation test, so to check for anterior rotation or posterior rotation.